Hey guys and welcome, my name is Bronners and welcome to my hometown hero save where I take my local team, Fleet Town FC, from the doldrums of English football all the way up to the Premier League and hopefully eventually a Champions League win. Now I'm going to set myself a few rules here in that I want to use mostly an English core all the way through if possible. Um, you know, maybe that'll change in future but I, I hope not, I want to try and keep as English as possible. I want to uh, develop my own youth players so we're going to extensively upgrade our youth facilities as we go. Um, as soon as we have some money, of course, being in this level of football, we don't have any money whatsoever. Um, and in the lower levels, I'm going to use sort of, you know, loans and free transfers to get up. But as far as spending on players goes, when it comes to that, I don't tend to spend millions and millions on players. I'll go for those undervalued players that I can hopefully train up and then sell on for a profit at a later date. That's my sort of style. Um, sometimes to the point where I have saves where I'm basically just uh, a youth farm at this point. You know, I scout and sign up pages on pages of youngsters. I'm not going to play this one quite like that, but that should give you a general theme on I'm more of a bring in the younger guys, develop, sell a mon type of manager rather than the bring in the already developed players for £30 million. Pounds. Constructive criticism and feedback all appreciated. If you do enjoy it, please do leave me a comment and a like just uh, telling me what you like, what you didn't like, what I could do better in future episodes. Um, I hope you enjoy. All right, so here's a general overview of how the league is expected to go and sort of favourites and and things like that. We've got a few new managers, us included. Bot and Rovers, Kidlington, Beaconsfield also all have new managers. Um, the Media Dream 11, did any of us make it into that? No, nope, we're not even close. But, I mean, we're a relatively respectable eight, I'd say, in the, in the pre-season favourites. Farnborough top, Driscoll best player in the league. In fact, they have the two best players. Let's take a look at Farnborough, actually. Do they even have... There are arch rivals, but we apparently they don't care about us at all. That's a little bit of a shame. I, I mean, fine. Well, whatever. We'll. I mean, we hate your guts, but okay. If that's uh, that's how we want to go, let's have a look at these then. So the expectations, top half in the league. First qualifying round for both the FA Cup and the FA Trophy, and the third round of the Southern League Cup. Nothing too extreme, all reasonable. So here's our bank balance at the beginning of the season, 1st of July. 7,000 in the bank, 1,000 in the wage budget. Probably will spend as much of that wage as possible. And, uh, I mean, that's that, really. <laughs> So let's get into the transfers we made here. So we brought in a few on free, starting with Wade Muscat, technical little midfielder, 12 passing, should slot in nicely. Roy Lee, a striker, 7 finishing, 11 composure on loan. Shane Stamp, an all-round left back. Joe Hood, again, another passer of the ball. Uh, both of him and Muscat fast as well. Matt Murphy also quite fast, another passer. Callum McAllister is sort of just a general AMC. Not sure we're going to keep him, but at 19, we may well do. And James Roberts, finally, 17 years old, on loan from Maidenhead. Look at those technicals, really decent for this level. Should have fit in perfectly. Now, on the outs, Craig Davis, the um, player manager, he's gone, doesn't really matter about him. Alex Shaw's gone on a seaside vacation to Seaford Town. Now, if that isn't uh, by the sea, they should rename that. Pat Cox has gone. He's... Um, Pretty decent for this level, but at 150 quid a week, just couldn't justify keeping him around on that much money. Um, so we've loaned him out. We can have him back if we need him next year for anything. And finally, Ryan Price, again, 150 quid a week he was on. He's gone completely because we've, just, we've downgraded slightly in goal, but we've got younger and cheaper, and that's the main thing. All right, so going into our first game against Northwood today, here's what we're going to play. Smith in goal, Stamp, Scott, Roberts and King across the back. Murphy in Hood and Muscat in midfield. McAllister is the AM. Malambo defensive forward. Lee is a poacher. We're going to play the 4-3-1-2. Relatively simple. No, nothing fancy in the middle. Just three central midfielders. Let's win our first game. All right, so here we go. It's a close call, but I've got to go for Fleet today. Northwood will give it everything, but Fleet should come out victorious in the end. That's good to hear. That's a vote of confidence at the beginning that I'm not sure I have as we go into our first game. They're going to play a 4-4-2. 
Um, oh man, I always forget to do these. I should do these by like positionally, and I always forget. So let's. What should I do here? I need to close them down and close uh, the other one down as well. I always forget. Then we want our wingers. We want to weaker foot that, weaker foot him, uh, and those. No, nope. uh, actually, no, nope, not those. I don't want to do those ones. And close down the keeper because I feel this is the kind of league where something funny will happen if I close down the keeper. So that should be that. Let's get into game. Calm and go out there and give these fans their money's worth. Mm. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, they didn't like that at all. Calm, I have faith. A little bit more. Uh, calm, I have faith. That's like the go-to. Always calm, I have faith. Uh, three of them like that. That's interesting but okay okay let's get into game oh that's a little bit choppy it's not normally that choppy i wonder what's up with that all right and this won't go anywhere because they never do to begin with k gets it he plays up the ball to sabaton who and yep goes nowhere so he just fades out every single time they've had their first shot but we have the first corner. It's 10 minutes in. King plays in the corner. And there's Scott. And there's Hood. And we're 1-0 up after 12 minutes. Not even 12 minutes. 11 minutes. Hood heads us ahead. Heads us ahead. The, the central midfielder gets his head onto a Scott knock. Uh, Scott knockdown. He's crowded out as well. He gets his head on that. And again, it went a bit. It doesn't usually do that. I hope, I'll look into that. I won't do it again. Hood knocks it in and we're 1-0 up after 10 minutes, 12, 20 minutes. Long kick up from Smith up to Malambo. He misses the header, but it comes down to King who gets it into McAllister, plays it out to Malambo, out on the wing, plays it back to Hood, up to Murphy and the advantages of having so many midfielders, up to McAllister, over to Muscat, back to McAllister again, out wide to King. He's got lots of space, curls that in and there's Lee, but he misses it. And what's happened there? Has that... What has Jones even done here? Okay, let's... Uh... I'm not even sure what's happened. I think has Jones actually put the... He's put it... He's clearly... It's an own goal, so he's he's clearly put it in himself. But let's have a look, see if we can change the angle here. Get a different... Get a different angle and see if we can... So he crosses it in. Lee pops it on goal. Can we slow this down? Does this work? No, it doesn't actually seem to slow it down. And Jones just air kicks it. Does he air kick that? He air kicks it with his left. And does it, it must come off like his right heel or something and just rolls into the goal. That is... I mean, that that's the Southern League Central. I think that's what I mean. Southern League First Division Central. That's the Southern League First Division Central just all over for you. What? Uh... What were we in? It's not elevated, is it? Director? Yeah, that, I think it's director. That sounds about right. All right, but it's 2-0 up. 20 minutes in, 2-0. Roy Lee unlucky not to get on the scoreboard, although he did kick it straight at uh, K, to be honest. They've still only had one shot. We're nearly half an hour into the game. They've had one shot on target and one shot. So admit admittedly, that's a 100% shot on target rate, which is impressive. Green lays it up. Smith should come out and claim this. He's going to play with his feet as well. He's confident. Look at how far out he's going. That's dangerous. He plays up the long ball, which goes again straight to Lentil. But Hood gets on it. Up to Malambo. Where can Malambo go with it? The captain. Plays into McAllister. Plays back to Hood. Again, the advantages of central midfielders. Murfin up to Lee. And tackled. But Murfin's there again. McAllister does a backheel. Mate, you're in the Southern League First Division Central. Why are you backheeling it? Just play the simple passes. This is what we practice in training, guys. Out to Muscat, out to King, and that is going to be on the highlights forever. There's Lee with the header. K makes the simple save. That little alley oop jump that didn't get King past his defender. That's that's staying on the highlights. Seven shots, four on target, three off target, two clear cut chances, and we're two 0 up. Malamba with the short free kick out to Stamp. Another back heel, guys. Are you doing training by yourself? Over to Lee. He with the knockdown. And then there's a volley. And it's crept in. I don't I think Kay should do better there. But it's crept in. Malamba with a volley from the edge of the area. A guy with not particularly good finishing. And he has somehow managed to get on top of that. And we're 3-0 up. It's not even half time. 
apparently I'm I've just uh I don't know why I just clicked skip there, but whatever. All right, and Malambo is immediately hurt. He scores a goal, immediately hurts himself. He's got to go off. We'll bring McDonald on. And because I don't have another striker on the bench, we're going to have to invest in some strikers, I think, after the game. All right, so that's a good first half. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, same as normal, really. We just you weren't that bad, but I think you could do better. They almost always like that. And let's get into the second half. Um, yeah, McDonald doesn't really like being a defensive forward. Can we get anything else going on here? I could change him to a deep lying forward, I suppose. He likes that a teeny bit better. He still, he'll still do his his job, but. Maybe not as well. Let's uh, let's keep that. Let's 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 let that go. McDonald out to McAllister again. This won't go anywhere. Stamps got it on the left. Murfin and there we go. I don't I don't understand why they even bother. Two quick cut chances. Sixty percent possession. Four corners. Ten fouls though. Well, they've had twelve fouls. We're not even on top in the fouls. Yellow card for Josh Jones. Alright. Muscat's hurt now as well. This is not great, man. That's a midfielder gone. I don't have another central midfielder on the bench, so I'm going to have to bring on Sean Jones, I think. Put him on for Muscat. Swap. Uh, swap McDonald and Jones. Have, have McDonald go into midfield and Sean Jones go up top. I don't even think that's going to work very well, but I mean, I could go to two midfield, but I could drop into the 4-4-2, but I'm going to keep it as it is. We're going to just uh, mess around with that. 70 minutes gone. Don't think we've had a highlight yet in this half, I don't think. What's going on here? Yeah, their keeper is not playing very well, is he? 5.8. Still 78 minutes, still no highlight. I don't understand what's going on here, man. Right, Stamps got it on the left-hand side with the throw in into Murphy and plays it into McDonald. Look at the space McDonald's got. He shoots and he lays it in. He lays it in like it's an egg. He plays that in. Old McDonald had a farm with his first of the season. And it's it, it's a pretty big screamer as well. Plays it across to McDonald. Wow, that is choppy. I promise I won't have this happen again. It will be fixed by next episode. Um, Hopefully. But that's all done. That is, that was a great finish as well by a guy who isn't even a first choice player for me. There's K. Pays it up. K's had an absolute mare, I feel, in this game. All right, but there's our team talk. We've got uh, pleased with the football we've played. Let's go with that. And I think we've got Joe Hood, Josh Jones' own goal. Simba Malambo gets one and then immediately goes off hurt. And Grant McDonald in the 85th minute to close it out. So I'm going to take this end screen just to thank the three people that inspired me to do this. Dr. Benji, Loki Doki, and Lolujo. The three of them make incredible content, and it's inspired me to give it a go as well. So thanks, guys. Um, if people enjoy this, leave me a comment. Let me know what I can improve on so that I can get it fixed for future episodes, and I'll see you tomorrow.